Today, we are gonna be fixing the biggest issue I have with this car, and that is the front grills. We've collected all of the best grill options on the market right now. We're gonna be showing you the grills, we're gonna be installing them, showing you what they look like on this car, and I'm ultimately gonna make my choice on which one I'm gonna go for. In front of me here, we have the four styles that we're gonna be looking at today. We've got the performance style grills, which are more akin to the actual M performance ducts you have, which is why they've got this like vertical slat here, diagonal slat, sorry. So it sort of keeps in line with the uh, M performance ducts. Here we've got the CSL style grills. Now these are comparable to the CSL grills that you have on the G80 uh, M3, G82 M4 as well. So that's where that inspiration comes from. Then down here, we have the Adro grills. Now this is the first time I'm seeing these. These are much more traditional BMW style. That's why you've got the vertical slats here. This feels a lot more like what BMW probably would have done had they not gone down the sort of design language route that they went down. And then here we have kind of a distinction from all of them really, which is the Alpha N grills. Now these are very simple, very clean, very open more akin to the actual design of the front of the car, which has got a lot of open space. So all different designs. I think a lot of people have their own preferences. I know I have one of my preferences. One of the interesting things is the, the way that the different manufacturers have sort of approached to installing. So the Alpha Ends have got the sort of fully integrated plastic trim here. Um, the CSL style here has this, but I know that the future models aren't gonna have this. This is an early development version. So this plastic trim won't be included. It's gonna be more similar to this, which already has the clips from here integrated to the grill itself. So it doesn't have to have this carbon bit here. And then to be honest with you, with the Adro one, I'm not too sure yet. It's gonna be the first time we install them. So we're gonna find out how they go on in a moment. Some other little notable design things to highlight. We've got, on all of these three grills, we've got these flat slats here. I don't actually know why that is. I don't know if there's a bit of trim on the front of the car that it's covering or not. We're gonna find that out. And then also, uh, the CSL grills and the Adro grills have space for the M2 badge. So we're gonna be able to transfer the M2 badging that we have on the car onto these ones. But I also have a new product that we've just about to launch onto the store, which is gonna replace the Chrome M2 badge with a black one. That's something that people have been highly requesting, so uh, excited to get that. Talking about the badge. Oh, look, there it is. So this is gonna replace this Chrome bit Nice. I think that's the last bit of chrome left on the car, so we're going to replace that. And this is genuine M2. Uh, this is a genuine OEM part that's been painted in gloss black. So they're available on our store. So I've got my work gloves on because I'm going to be doing the fitting today as it's Kai's birthday. I've said I will take the hard job. So the first thing we need to do is get this front bumper off, which is a couple of screws in the arch liner and under, underneath there as well. But first things first, let's get it up on the ramp. Get this front bumper off. So now we've got the bumper off, we can see behind the bumper and see how these grills are actually attached. And as you can see, you've got clips all the way along here. Um, very similar to how the actual F87 grills used to be put in place, to be fair. So what we're gonna start with is the uh, grills that have the clips uh, integrated, and then we'll go into the Adros as well. So these are actually my preference. Nathan doesn't like them, but that's fine. That's why we're doing this thing. That's why we're doing this experiment. So first set of grills on, these are the CSL grills. As you can see, very aggressive in terms of styling. You, you maintain the original badge. I've just quickly fixed this on, so it might be a little bit wonky, but for the sake of illustration, hopefully you can see what it looks like. What do we think? I like the sort of design elements where it's carried on this sort of line from the performance duct up here. Where this kind of goes up, it sort of goes to nowhere though, so I'm not too sure. Ultimately, if you want an aggressive grill, this is probably as aggressive as they get in terms of design at this moment in time. So we're gonna pop these ones off now. We're gonna put the performance style grills on now. Let's see what they look like. Next style of grills are on. These are the performance style grills. As you can see, they are very similar in design to the performance ducts, which have this sort of vertical, uh, sorry, diagonal slat, and that carries on through. Uh, they've also got this sort of standout sort of ridge ledge sort of design and that just carries the bumper through because 
the gil these grills, the stock grills, sorry, sit quite deep into the actual bumper, whereas these just sort of bring that out a little bit. Um, so you can see the sort of design philosophy there. Let's see what the next ones look like. So now we're going to be putting the Adro grills on, and these don't have any clips at all. They're actually installed with 3M tape. I've just put a little bit on here at the moment, but you would actually put 3M tape the whole way around and obviously completely prep this area. But obviously for the sake of just showing you guys what they're in, they look like installed, we're only going to put a little bit on. These are the Adro grills, very traditional BMW. This is obviously like sort of E36, E46, you know, E92 style of grills. Yeah, I think they're really nice, really clean. You retain the BMW badging. They're easy to install as well as they're just 3M on. So yeah, nice, simple grill. So here are the last design that we're gonna be looking at today. These are the Alpha N grills. Very simple, very clean design. As you can see, just this sort of horizontal uh, slat. So keeping in sort of theme with the original grills. Um, you do actually lose the M2 badge here, which some may not want to do but i think arguably where they're so clean and simple you could probably get away with it yeah what do we think the car is now back together as you can see i'm filthy dirty because it's been pissing the rain all day today but the csl grills are the one that i've gone for to be honest with you this for me is kind of a nice combination of like an oem style grill but a bit more aggressive and I get to retain the BMW M2 badge, which for me is something that I want to keep. Um, as you can see, it's missing at the moment. So we did have the silver badges, but we have just got the gloss black M2 badges. They're a separate product to this, but they will fit with this and they will fit with the stock grill. So we're going to go and install them now. So here we've got the gloss black badges and I'm simply just going to pop them in place. Is that first time right? I think that's it. Actually, with the gloss back badges, very nice. So here we have the Zunsport uh, grills as well. This is a little additional product that we're gonna be putting on today. Now this is just to protect this radiator that's behind it. Um, this has been smashed to bits by stones, by bugs, probably a couple of birds. God knows. Um, so anyway, this is going to protect that. They also do have an option for the ducts here, for the brake ducts, but I've not gone for that because I don't really think that we need it for what we're doing. But yeah, this is a really simple install. They just clip in place as so. Now I do have adaptive cruise control. I don't know how that's going to affect it. We're going to find out. Hopefully um, this will just go straight through the grill, but if not, we may have to just cut this trim bit out here. But So I'm gonna try this on the car now, and if we have any issues, I'll update the product description on the website so you guys will be aware as well. They're on the store, and hopefully a nice product as well. That's gonna round off today's video, guys. Let us know what variant of the grill that you prefer in the comments below. We're interested to hear your thoughts. Hopefully these nice little mods as well have improved the look of the car, and we've got a load more content of this M2 coming up. I'm actually gonna learn how to drift properly in this car, which is gonna be coming up in the new year. I'm excited to do that. One thing we have noticed, 92% of you that watch this video aren't subscribed to our YouTube channel. I don't understand why. We're pushing out some good content. We'd really, really appreciate it if you could just hit that subscribe button behind below this video. Thank you. But otherwise, that's it for now. We'll see you guys in the next video.